Hello everybody, James here. Today I'm showing you a FDM print by Locus Labs. This is the Dominus and it's a stand-in for the Centurion. I have partly magnetized it and this was printed at 0.1 millimeter layer height. In total it took me 50 hours or thereabouts and um, I intend to use this as Titan Lords for one page rules, um, independent of my other knight, which I use with the rest of my KMFP army. Um, I'll show you the scale next to each other in a moment, but for the moment, I just want to show off the uh, the Dominus by itself. So, first of all, we've got the legs. There's about eight different variants, I believe. This was the longest to print. Um, which took up half of the entire time and uh, I did lose sleep over it. <laughs> there is then um, the torso and there's uh, several different versions of that as well. This is just the standard kit. Um, I've magnetized the head and I have magnetized the arms. Uh, they initially come with ball joints, but when it is scaled up this much, um, there is a scaling issue. They do know about it and they do say that they will fix it, but for the moment, um, it's not going to fit in the joint properly. Um, and so they'll end up being flush against the torso. Um, I like this. Um, personally, but um, there is a posability issue with this arm, and uh, it gets blocked. If this was a um, a working ball joint, it would be further out, and it would be able to um, be more posable. Uh, this is the uh, back. Need to do a tiny bit more cleanup, and um, I did this with, I think, two walls. If I were to do it again, I would do three, um, just because I can see the infill. But being that this is a big mechanical construct, I don't think it's that bad. Um, so if you wanted to save a bit of filament, I think that's you'd be fine um, it also has uh, many different weapons um, it's got um, uh, an arm with the fist without the shield uh, it's also got an axe arm and then for the main weapon this is the AC 10 but there's also AC 20 there's I believe Gauss uh, a PPC, some lasers, um, so many different types, and uh, there's uh, yeah different torso types as well, um, and yeah, it's um, a really good fleshed out kit and uh, pretty affordable. I came across Locus Labs about a month ago, and I immediately. Um, join the patreon she does about three to four kits a month from what i can tell and it's spread between mechs infantry tanks the works um, and they're all custom designs so they're all um, built from the ground up um, starting as like really really blocky and then um, she shows her work in progress so it starts really really blocky um, and then she gradually, over the course of the week, makes it more detailed. Um, thankfully, it's not massively detailed. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't think many people do. I think um, when we're talking about like Max, you just want to make it big and blocky. Um, it's there's a lot of um, faff, I think, on the original kits um, which I'm not a fan of um, I think it makes it too fiddly so these 
more bare bones designs um, I'm a fan of. I think the next mech that I'm going to do is the training mech, which is her equivalent of the um, uh, urban mech. And uh, it's a really good design on the urban mech. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be using these for um, Titan Lords, one page rules. Um, let me show it next to my existing Titan. This is for my um, battle, my, my um, orbital knights, and um, I think this is the first time you've seen this as well on the channel. Um, it's a big boy. <laughs> it's on a large oval. Um, this guy, the Dominus, will go on a small oval. And yeah, just have them side by side. So it's. Um, a bit shorter and a lot thinner but yeah I, th I think it would it seeing it in person um, makes it a great stand-in for um, those those Titan armies so yeah can't wait to continue uh, making these at 160th <laughs> Okay, thank you for watching and uh, have a good day.